welcome back everyone. I'm the Depressed Eeyore and this is um Gensokyo Horror. We've gotten a bunch we've finally been spending our trophies and getting a bunch of allies, which has been bolstering our forces a bit, which will help out a lot. Um we've also got ourselves a rumor that we're about to complete, which will seal a gate for us. Um it's uh yeah, it's been going pretty good for us. Um we have four seals up, we're gonna get a fifth easily. And uh, yeah, we have control of the board at the moment. We also got Sene, which reduced the Doom Track by one. Um, so we're kind of got a nice little buffer to kind of keep uh, Medicine at bay. So we might be able to prevent her from awakening, which will be nice. Um, combat wise, we might be able to take her on, but it, it'd be better if we don't, because literally there's nothing we can do to stop her poison if um, when we fight her. All right. So Yumiko goes first. Uh, there's nothing I need to do for upkeep. Um, in Yuki's case, I'm going to be refreshing a few spells. And I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, I'll go ahead and cast Voice of Raw and lose one sanity. Yep, that's fine. Um, so I get... Plus one to lore because of the weather, plus two from this, minus one, so total, it's going to be six dice. So I'll just roll these six dice that are right here. That is more than one success, and I complete the task. So these clues get removed, this get rumor gets removed, and I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, Great Hall Celiano. Uh, let's see, clue tokens, choose one gate and seal it. I'm assuming that you don't get the trophy, so I'm just going to assume that gets returned, but we do seal the location. And there was nothing that matches the symbol. The only things that are on the board right now are moons. Okay, so that's uh, really good for us. There are still some locations, there's definitely plenty of locations for gates to still open, but five locations are now safe, which is really, really good for us. But yeah, there's still one, two, three, four, five, six locations. Uh, one, two, three. There are five locations that could still have gates open. Though some of them tend to be rarer than others. A lot of times I see gates open a lot in the Entei area, Forest of Magic, and Eastern Kotsokyo. That's usually where I see them. Anyway, that takes care of um, that. That was upkeep. Um, Akiu, anything I need to do for your upkeep? Not really. You're kind of good to go. And I can actually get you a clue token uh, soon, which will help. Yeah, that that could be something I could do. All right. Um, so Ren is next. Uh, Ren's upkeep is, yeah, she doesn't need to do anything. All right. So let's do some movement. Uh, Yumiko, I'm gonna send you. I'm going to go ahead and send you to Kirasami Magic Shop. So that's her movement. Yuki, for your movement, I will go ahead and send you one, two, three, four, five. We'll just go to Bum Bum Bar News. Okay, uh, next is. Uh, Akiu. Akiu, I'm going to go ahead and spend a movement point, and I'll go ahead and exhaust the the class of Merlin to do a lore check at minus one. I get plus one to lore checks. Yes, I do. Um, so I get five dice, or seven dice in total to do to read this town. So I'll roll these six. Success. I lose one sanity, but I do get a clue token. So now she has five clue tokens. With the last two points of movement, I will go ahead and send her to uh, the abyss, which means she falls through. All right, and for Ren, she's gonna go move. She will move over one space. If we wanted to, we could have actually traded stuff, but I'm not gonna worry about that. And next is encounters. Uh, Yumiko is gonna. I'm going to go ahead and shop at Kirasami Magic Shop, so I'm just going to draw three unique items and buy one. Okay, 
I will spend seven dollars to get the Claudius, because that's all re all I really want. Um, as far as the other items, there's the Milk of Shub Nagaroth, which what this does is it moves all monsters to your location, and then you go go insane. It's pretty much useless unless you're trying to set up a time bomb. Uh, Nameless Cults, uh, or if you just want to, if you're desperate to clear get monsters off a certain location. Anyway, uh, Nameless Cult is a tome. You can um, do a lore check. If you pass, draw one spell, lose one sanity, and dis discard it. If you fail, nothing happens. So it's just a one-use book. Nothing. You get a spell out of it. Um, and then the Gladius is plus four to combat, but if you have a, if your other hand is empty, it's plus five. In the case of Yumiko, who has multiple hands, uh, this will actually probably be giving her plus five, or correction, plus six. So yeah, I will spend seven dollars and get herself a magic weapon. I could go stop shopping for common items, but common items are generally physical weapons, and medicine is physical resistant. So I'd rather have that back up. The rest of the cards get discarded. Okay, next is Yuki. Um, Yuki's going to be having an encounter in Bum Bum Bar News. I, uh, Sh Shemimara offers you a retainer in return for your fascinating story stories. Take your retainer card. Okay, here's our retainer card. Um, gain two dollars during your upkeep, and then roll a die. Discard this card if on a one. So it's a, it's free money for the most part. Um, Aki, or that is all the encounters. So next is other world encounters, starting with uh, Aki. This is Yugoth, so it's red and green. The colors are blinding. Pass a lore minus one check, or stay here next turn. Okay, I get uh, plus one from the weather, so it's going to be five dice in total. There's our five dice. I will be staying here next turn. There you go. Takes care of that. All right. Next is um, Ren. A lurking monster appears. So Ren's going to fight this monster. It's a star spawn. So we start with a horror check at minus five, thanks to the freaking will penalties. So I roll one die for that. Failed. So I lose two sanity. So I'm down to three. See that I attempt to sneak, but that's not going to happen. Alright, this fight might be bad for her, <laughs> to say the least. Alright, so let's start with the combat. I have plus four from um, martial arts, and it's going to be minus three. So I have six dice, and I need three successes. This is not good for us. So here's our three dice, our six dice. Here goes nothing. Just barely got it. Awesome. Because, yeah. Not only would I could have I lost the fight, I would have gotten like two poison counters if I hadn't dealt with that counter if that if I hadn't have you know dealt with it right then and there. So good stuff. And she's got like an insane amount of toughness now. Anyway, um, that is all the encounters. So let's draw ourselves a mythos. Okay, uh, bamboo forest is sealed. Um, monsters move. The only monster that moves is this one. And the first player draws a spell. A strange Rumen distributes scrolls. So technically right now Yumiko is still first player. So she gets open th the third eye. You may cast an exhaust to take a third eye special card. If this card is exhausted at the start of your upkeep phase, you do not have to refresh it. So third eye is right here. What third eye does is it increases your maximum sanity, it reduces your maximum stamina, but it gives you plus two to horror checks and you may not be cursed. So it's decent, but I don't like, my stamina is only 4 anyway, so I don't want it to be 2. So it's probably I'm, I'm probably not going to be casting this spell anytime soon. I mean, the only person that might be able to do anything with it is Ren, but that's not really worthwhile. Anyway, that was, yep, that is it for the round. So let's go ahead and move the first player to Yuki. And let's start with upkeeps. Um, so Yuki is not going to do anything too special. She's good to go. Uh, well, this gets unexhausted. And, oh, actually she gets $2, and I need to roll a d6 to see if I keep that retainer. That is a 2, so that is, she gets to keep it. All right, next is Aki. Aki is not going to do any adjustments. No, she's good to go. Uh, next is Ren, no adjustments, and Yumiko, no adjustments. All right, uh, next is movement uh, for Yuki. I'm just going to center. Actually, I will do adjustment for uh, Yuki. Yuki, I'll just increase sneak by one. All right, one, two, three. 
I'm just gonna grab this clue token because it's the last one that's left on the board. Okay, that takes. Actually, no, I'm not gonna get that clue token. I know exactly what I want to do. I'm gonna go kill this zombie, and I will fight this zombie. It's a horror minus one check. I get the roll one die still, so that's fine. I failed it, so I lose one sanity, so I'm down to one. And now we'll do an, a combat check. I have like five dice. And I'll go ahead and use our special ability to make this a blessed fight. Success, and I kill it. So now I have enough to go get another ally, which I'll do later. Okay, uh, so that was her movement. Next is Akyu. Akyu gets undelayed. Ren gets out of the gate. Um, and that is, and then Yumiko, there's not much I can do with Yumiko besides, you know, try to go get healed. And unfortunately I don't have any money to get healed, so that's a problem too. But that's okay. Um, uh, we'll just go one, two, three, four, and we'll just do that. I'll, she'll probably just sit there and heal for a while to get ready for whatever. All right, next is encounters. Uh, Yuki's in the streets. Uh, Aku is going to have a, well, Aku is in the other world. Uh, Ren can attempt to close the gate. I am not going to, because Aku is going to do that for me. Um, so that's all for her. Uh, Yumiko is the only one that's going to get an action. I'm going to get uh, myself a point of sanity back. Actually, yeah, I'll get a point of sanity back. That's kind of my best option. Okay. Also, something to note. Um, I've been one thing I did forget is this leyline map, which allows me to ignore uh, penalties to skills. Um, it doesn't make too. It wouldn't have made too much of a difference in the case of Yumiko, um, but it does mean I could have probably gotten a, a, maybe an additional die for some of those horror checks. So that's just my bad. Anyway. Um, that is all for that. Next is the other world encounter with Akiu. Uh, what colors are you? You are red and... Is that blue? That is blue. Alright, this is Yugoth. You, the stump uh, creature pursues you. Pass a speed minus one check to escape with the statue, gaining $5 and two clue tokens. If you fail, the creature smashes you off the cliff. You are lost in space and time. Uh, well, that's the worst possible skill to have. Also, these should have refreshed, it, refreshed which is fine. Alright. Not good. Um, so I get to roll two dice. Failed it. Um, I will go ahead and spend a clue token to roll another die. These dice have been rolled. Nope. And then I'll roll this die. All right, well, I lost uh, two clue tokens, and I'm going to be lost in space and time. Awesome. Well, it was bound to happen, so this is what happens. You get sent to lost space and time, and you become delayed. That really sucks. That pretty much means um, the game's going to go a bit longer now, because I wasn't able to seal that location, and I don't have enough clues to do another one. All right, um, that is all the encounters. Let's draw ourselves a mythos. This is another headline. This is Misty Lake, which is sealed, so nothing to worry about there. There are no monsters here, which is fine. Uh, Patchouli lectures on the mythos. Patchouli knowledge is giving a lecture on her knowledge of the current problems plaguing Gensokyo. However, only the most convincing are allowed to enter Vole. Uh, investigators in, um, or Vol, how should pronounce it? Investigators in Gensokyo may immediately make a will minus one check. Any who pass may pay $3 to draw spells as if they were receiving magic lessons at Alice's house. So you can get uh, spells for a discount if you do a will check. Um, I will... Eh, I can have uh, Yuki do it. So Yuki has a will of... Oh, never mind. She doesn't have any will. So never mind. So, yeah. Also, we have will check. We have that will check penalty. So yeah, no one's going to be able to do this. So that's fine. All right, nothing to worry about there, and the first player moves to Akiu. So Akiu's upkeep is nothing happens, because she's uh, not going to be doing much for a while. Ren, nothing. Yumiko, nothing. And Yuki, pretty much nothing. All right, uh, next is um, movement.
Accu gets undelayed. Rinse going to go ahead and stay. Well, you know what? I'm just going to move. I'll just I'll 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 lose the explore token and just go and say hi to um, Hawkeye Shrine. All right, uh, for Yumiko, she's going to stay in place because she needs the heal. Um, and then for Yuki, she's going to get two dollars. Oh, I forgot to get the two dollars. My apologies. I need to roll to see if I get the um, I get to keep the retainer. Okay, that's good stuff. All right, so this is what I can do though that can um, help us out a little bit is I can actually go. Well, I I have to do the movements in order, but yeah, Aki. Oh yeah, I still need to move. All right, so Yuki is gonna go here, and she's actually gonna give. Um, a dollar to, well, I'll give her three dollars to uh, Yumiko. So now she has four dollars. That's the all the trading I'll be doing. Also, I will get the uh, third eye spell from her, just to have essentially. And that is pretty much it for that. Okay, um, and that's all the movements. Um, Akiu, nothing happens because she's lost in space and time. Ren, I'm gonna go ahead and cash in. This thing is worth four. This is worth three, so that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's see. Actually, can I do this right? Two, four, six. Yeah, there's ten toughness right there. Remember, Rin's special abilities, all of her are all of her trophies are considered one higher than normal. So I will go ahead and get myself a. Uh, another uh, get ourselves an ally so what I could do is see about increasing her attack a bit got a few options here combat spells and spells common items clue token It's, we can start refreshing gates or refreshing clues, which will be nice. Um, discard. Satori can get us a plus one. Uh, get us a skill card for free. Do, do, do. Search the unique item deck. Become blessed. Recover stamina. Nothing too special. Oh, actually, I could, um, yeah, that's not really worthwhile. By the way, that's Ryzen. Um, I kind of want Hina's ability, because it's plus two combat and plus two horror, which is a nice balance for her. I don't really need to worry about anything else. Yuka gives raw fight, but and, as well as a spell, but... Or I can get plus two combat, uh, one lore, and get a free unique item. Which can be pretty good. Or I can get ten dollars. Um, let's go with Hina. That will help out on that front. So there you go. And alright, for Yumiko's encounter, um she's just gonna spend two dollars and max out her sanity. There you go. Uh for Yuki, uh her encounter is she's gonna spend two dollars and max out her sanity. And that is it. So that is a very quick round. Let's keep going. A environment card. Okay. Uh, forest interior. We get done that. We do get a gate there. Did I forget a doom token? I keep thinking I I forgot a doom token at one point. Let me check the footage. Be right back. Okay, I checked. I'm just being paranoid. It was we were at ten and we went down one because of Sine. All right. Sorry guys, I have to keep. There's a lot of things to keep track of. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're doing the the encounter. So force interior. This will spawn a gate. There's not much we can do about that. So this will get us back to ten on our doom track. It also is going to spawn a monster. 
which is going to be a Dark Young. And Dark Young are stationary, so it doesn't matter. Sp Star Spawn and Maniacs have their toughness increased by 1. The difficulty to seal or close gates to really A is increased by 1, which makes them rather even more difficult. But that's fine, there are no none of those gates, there's just the Abyss. Okay, um, and then first turn is going to go to Ren. Okay. So, we're almost there. We have five seals. We just need clues, and we need to not get lost in space and time. So let's go ahead and, um, in Rin's case, there's not really much I need to do with her. Um, the good news is we no longer have penalties to our will checks, which is good. And yeah, I don't really, the only upkeep thing I need to do is Akiu actually gets to return to Gensokyo. I can go to any location I want. So I'm just going to go to um, uh, Silver Twilight Lodge and hopefully uh, get that taken care of. So we'll be going there. That's during her upkeep phase. Um, and then after that, it's movement. Uh, Ren is over here. I can go fight this Dark Young and see about closing a gate. It does have nightmarish, which is annoying. Yeah, but if I but if I kill it, I can um, have some fun with that. But yeah, that's probably not going to work out. Let's go. Where should I go? I need clues. I mean, I could go to Clock Tower and get clues that way by cashing in gates or uh, monster trophies, I think. But it only gets you two clue tokens, which is honestly not a good value. One, two, three, four, and we're just going to go to Bun Bun Mara News and see if we can get any, uh, get any scoops. Or I can go to Missy Lake. That's an option. One, two, three, four. No, I can't go that far. It's too far away. I'm just seeing some of the now recently stable locations that I can actually take advantage of. Yeah, let's go to Clock Tower. One, two, three, four. And I'll just have a regular encounter there. All right, uh, in the case of Yumiko, Yumiko is going to stay here. Uh, Yuki. Oh, also I need to get $2 from the retainer and see if I keep it. I still keep it. Awesome. Alright, um, in the case of Yuki though, uh, what, do, what do I wish to do with her? I can go send her fighting. Oh wait, I know exactly what I was going to do. I was going to go shopping with her. Which is going to... I'm going to go ahead and increase her move. Um, I'll increase her movement by one for her upkeep. My apologies, I should have done that sooner. But with plus one speed from Sene, I could go five spaces. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, takes care of that. Aku, um, I'm not going to move, so you can get that clue token. And next is encounters. So Rin, I'm going to go ahead and have a clock tower encounter. Uh, the magical defenses of the mansion remove any magical auras present around you. Discard any blessings or curses you have. Um, I don't have either, so that's fine. Uh, Yumiko is next. I'm just going to recover one stamina. Uh, Yuki is next. I'm going to spend all five of these toughness and this gate trophy to get another ally of my choice. Just put them in there. There we go. Put that in there. And I get an ally of my choice. Um, <clears throat> I want. We lost. Al we lost uh, Yoma, which kind of sucks. Um, we can see about just constantly regaining sanity with Biakran. That, or I can just go all in with the. Um... Oh, actually, Flandre can ignore magic resistance, so that might be a good thing. Or I can get Yuka and get an additional spell. Or I can get uh, Alice and get even uh, get more bonuses from combat spells. That's uh, not too bad either.
but I think um, pay one focus and exhaust to gain one sanity. I think I will go ahead and get Bjorkrain. That'll help out a lot. There we go. Next is uh, Aku. Aku is going to have an encounter at the Silver Twilight Lodge. Uh, the mist is confusing, and before you realize it, you're lost your way. You are delayed. Jeez, Aku. Sheesh. Alright, uh, that ends the round. So let's go ahead and draw ourselves a, a another mythos. Nameless Hill. And it's an environment effect. So this does get us another Doom token. So we're at 11 at this point. It's a good thing I've actually taken the time to get allies and stuff, because it looks like we're going to need them, because... Uh, we're cutting things close. Um, there are two locations that can possibly get gates still, so that is something. So if we want to, we could just leave the gates open and just let monsters ha pour in for monster surges. So that's an option, but sheesh, this is annoying. Alright, all monsters have their sanity damage increased by one. If Keen is being played as an investigator, increase her fight by one while this card is in play. Oh, it's a full moon. That's a nice little touch. Alright, um, but yeah, nothing moves this round, because it's just moons and it's plus signs. And that's Amigo, which is a flying monster. We actually haven't encountered any flying... Well, we haven't seen any flying monsters move. Um, the way flying monsters move in this game, um, flying monsters are monsters that have that blue border around it, is they will immediately attack any the closest investigator that's in a street location. So they just fly out, fly out and attack you. Um, if there are none... Uh, none none present on the streets, they just go to the sky, which makes them very hard to deal with once they're, they are in the sky. Okay, um, so first player goes to Yumiko, and let's see what we can do. We'll hopefully do this round pretty quick, because I need to call this a video. Um, Yumiko, she has no updates, uh, upkeep to do with. Uh, Yuki gets two dollars, and I need to roll to see if I keep the retainer. I do. Yeah, I keep it, and in the case of Aku, nothing for her, and for Ren, nothing for her. Okay, movement. I'm not going to close any gates, because that's not safe. Um, instead, I will go... I will go to Misty Lake. That's her movement. Next is Yuki, uh, for Yuki's movement. She's going to go one, two, three. Let's go. I'm going to go say hi to Alice's house. Um, and Aku gets undelayed. And Ren, where are you, Ren? You're over here. All right. You have five movement. Do need to kill some monsters, but we'll just have to wait for right now. One, two, actually we'll just stay here, that's fine. Actually, um, I'll stay on the streets, and if that Migo attacks me, great. So that's what we'll, what we'll do there. Alright, next is encounters. Yumiko is going to have an encounter over here in Misty Lake. Uh, the fairies are doing battle with a horrible monster, and it isn't going well. A monster appears. If you fight and defeat it, you may roll a number of number of dice equal to its toughness. If you roll a success, you draw a random ally who hears of your heroics and decides to join you. If no, if you roll no successes, the fairies give you the item the monster wanted. Um, draw one unique item. Uh, actually, nothing happens here because monsters can't spawn here because it's sealed. So it doesn't happen. So yeah, I can't really do either of these. So I guess nothing happens. Um, so Yuki, she is Alice's house. I'm going to just draw two spells. And I'm going to spend $5 and draw two spells and pick one to keep. We got Wither. And we got Rack. Uh, the way Rack works is... It just lets you, um, you can let you auto evade essentially, but I don't need it. So I'm going to discard that card. Move those out of the way. Okay. And we'll just get Wither. So now we have two Wither spells and we can use them in either hand, which is exactly what I wanted. So that works out. All right. Um, and then for Aku, she gets another Silver Twilight Lodge encounter. 
Make a sneak minus two check. If you pass, you manage to make your way to the vault and find two items of interest. Roll a die for each item. On a success, draw a unique item. On it, otherwise, draw a common item. I have zero sneak, so that's not going to do anything. All right. Next is and next is Ren. She's in the streets. All right. So let's draw a mythos. Hidden house. That's going to cause um. It's an environment effect, so we'll put that there. Um, this will cause a monster surge. Okay, yeah. So it's going to cause a monster surge. It's going to spawn four monsters. So here's one, two, three, four. Okay, and now movement. Uh, this flying monster is going to go here because it attacks. Uh, Ren, who's in the streets. Uh, everything else is stationary and didn't move. Okay. Um, cultists have magical immunity. Additionally, any investigator who is lost in space and time must pass a mi will minus one check or be devoured. Thankfully, there is no one in um, lost in sp time and space. Spawn of Yogg Sothoth. -Soth. All right. So now we have a bunch of monsters on the board again. Uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Six monsters on the board. And first turn is going to be Yuki. All right. Well, there's not much to say. Um, we're kind of stalling at this point because we're just not. Uh, we kind of got screwed. Aki was about to win us the game, but got lost in space and time, and it just didn't work out. So we're just trying to get equipped and ready for medicine, just in case another gate opens or we get some sort of event that gets another Doom token. There's not much we can do about it. If it happens, it happens, and then it's just going to be a damage race. So I am the depressed Dior, and this was uh, Gensoki Horror. See you guys later. Hey everyone, Depressed Dior here. Um, I'm doing this post the entire um, the entire Let's Play because uh, I caught a rule that I missed the entire time. I didn't really realize that I didn't really notice this um, before, but um, some of the um, if you look at this uh, Mythos card in the bottom left where it says Bamboo Forest, it's in a orange box. Um, I always just ignored that. I always thought like whenever there's things in like in a different color, it was just like a misprint or just something inconsistent with Arkham Horror because that's something I've always noticed with the rules. But in this case, it actually has meaning. Um, what when I drew this uh, when this card was drawn, um, I said nothing happened because um, Bamboo Forest was sealed. Uh, the reason I'm not showing the board right now is because this is after the fact, so this kind of I didn't want to show any spoilers or anything. Anyway, um, when the text is orange, what happens is it's called a gate burst. Um, I might have mentioned this before, but I never really got into it because it usually doesn't happen. Or at least I thought they never really happened because um, I thought they were just special events. But in this case, um, they, anything that has an orange, uh, this orange square for the, um, for the uh, gate location, is a gate burst, and when a gate burst happens, it functions just like a um, like a gate opening, but it destroys the seal that's in that location. So if there's a seal in that location, it breaks the seal and it opens a gate anyway. Um, so what this means um, is uh, we should have been down a seal and we should have been up a um, a doom token. Also, whenever a gate burst happens, all um, flying monsters move, even if they're not able to. So um, or they move no matter what the symbols are showing, so they would all move at once. Um, when this card came up, I don't think there was any flying creatures anyway, so that wasn't a big deal. But I did make a mistake on this. Um, I don't. I think this is the only mistake that was made as far as gate burst. I did look through because there's a bunch of gate burst cards, but a lot of them were just in locations that didn't have uh, seals on them to begin with. Um, so yeah, that was my mistake. Um, I, for the most part, I didn't catch it in time because I never. I didn't even think about it. Um, I, I don't have too much experience with the uh, Arkham expansion, so Gate Burst is a kind of a new thing to me. Um, for the most part, it doesn't change too much. I mean, you can just say that you play the game normally and not worry about Gate Burst, which is I think that's completely fine. But just to let you guys know that I did miss this Gate Burst, and I apologize for that. Um, in, in the end, it probably didn't change too much. Um, but I, I won't really spoil that for any of you guys. So... Uh, I'm the Depressed Eeyore, so, uh, sorry for the rules mistake, and uh, see you guys next time.